Hello and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network, Slider here, and uh, we're continuing our search on the net here for the virus responsible for sabotaging the metro line, actually. So, uh, we've got a new enemy here mixed with a familiar enemy. Uh, I did a little bit of grinding off screen, so I've got a little bit more HP uh, than when we last left off. And the Buster is doing three hit points of damage instead of two, so... We're a little bit more well-equipped for this uh, upcoming boss fight. This place is a bit of a maze, um, but I've got a general idea of where I'm going here. So bear with me. Uh, how I got the HP power-ups, by the way, was... Uh, I kept buying them from a merchant. Now you can keep buying them from them, uh, but be warned that they get expensive. Um, you know, the more you buy them, uh, the price goes up. So, had to do a little bit of grinding. These guys do a lot of damage if they can happen to hit you, so uh, it's best just not to be lined up either uh, perpendicular with them like that, or on the same uh, line as theirs. They often steal spaces as well to limit the movement. But if you can get up close like that, you can spam the buster pretty quickly and uh, take them down. So, alright. Keep on cruising. And here we are. Gawk, gawk, gawk. Out of my way. What do you think you're doing? Guck, guck, blocking the Metro Line security program. So this is uh, the virus responsible for that. Uh, he needs to die. Guck, so the Metro Line won't open. Uh, why would you want to do a thing like that? Guck, guck, to control the net. Not another WWW crony. Get those rocks out of there. Guck. Stoneman must delete all programs that interfere. You're the one who's going to be deleted. So the net is too small. Too small for the two of us, Stoneman. So Stoneman's representing Mega Man 5. Um, although he looks absolutely nothing like his original design. We're going to add some chips. Um, in Mega Man 5, uh, he suffered from Toadman Syndrome. Uh, if you were stayed up near close to him, uh, he would jump uh, over you back and forth um, without ever getting his power stone off. So, but we got to deal with him here, and I think uh, a high cannon will do the trick right now. Uh, oops, walked right into that one. Now you can see uh, which blocks are going to have the falling stones because of the shadows. And, uh, let's let, uh, let's let Roll have a, have a turn. Uh, that was alright. Let's go ahead and add some chips. Because I ain't messing around. The shit just got real. Is this all he does? Alright. Quake sounds good. Oh. Well, it's really easy to walk into that. But what's this guy gonna do now? It's really easy to walk into those uh, boulders falling because if you happen to be moving around and you're moving onto the space where the boulders falling, you don't really have enough reaction to get off the space. So it's probably best to just stay still when he does that and then react accordingly. Uh, hit you with a shockwave. But that little guy down there, his minion. I imagine we just want to stay out of the way of that uh, beam. And he's done. And 
I didn't think I did too bad, but apparently busting level one, so whatever. Land, we did it. Right on. Let's get the security program running. Leave it to me. This should let the metro line open safely. Let's hurry up and get that power-up program. Okay. So the power-up program that they're talking about is actually one that your dad has for you. And he's in the Scilab. Um, which we can now access because the metro line should be in service now. The safety program is fixed. And the trains are running. Excellent. Everything is transpiring according to my design. You can buy a ticket to wherever you want to go here. We currently only have service to the government complex. We will soon provide service to Dentown. Tickets for elementary school students are free. Cool, give me it. Give me that ticket. Let's see if we got uh, some kind of little animation for the bus. No, I guess not. No cutscene, you're just uh, whisked away to the new area. This is the station for the government complex. I don't know, so I'm assuming the Scilab is in the government complex or somewhere in this area. I'm not sure. Let's see. I guess we'll just see what these guys have to say. Sword, wide sword, and long sword chips are related, you think? Same with small bomb, cross bomb, and big bomb. Yeah, you are truly a genius. lunch in this area. Let me try some. Would you like an all-natural lunch? Yeah. Here you go. Hmm. I kind of like you. My name is Sal. I work with the net to protect nature. There's so many viruses about lately. Would you like to practice net battling with me? Sure. Yeah, let's see what she's got. Woodman. So here's Woodman, um, hailing from Mega Man 2, and uh, he actually looks a lot like his original design. I really have no idea what to expect here. Uh, let's just add some chips and see what he does. Okay, so we gotta react to the yellow spaces, which is not very much time at all. there again because I need to heal. Now um, obviously it shows the yellow spaces. Well she didn't even damage him. But honestly you have even less reaction time than when I did with those uh, boulders. Alright we're going to add more chips again. Whoops. I mean, the randomness of this, you almost have to just get lucky. And I'm just gonna keep myself healed up here. Because I notice uh, that these sticks, these spears, do 50 hit points of damage, which is not nice. Oh. Wow. I might not have the HP to be able to survive this. This might be a little too early for me to do this fight. Wow, yeah, that was piss poor. Might be a little bit early for me to do this. But I'm gonna try again. But man, you are the thorn in my side. You are the heels to my DPS. I shall do what I must. You will try. John Williams, eat your heart out. Gutsman versus Woodman. Let's do some damage here. Lord, he doesn't, he doesn't watch. Wow. Um, oh, we gotta heal. So 
far, better than last time. Got him this time. Whoa, no. Come on, get over here. I'm gonna hit you with one sword. Get over here. Never mind. Cool. Well, at first I didn't think that I had enough hit points to do that ba battle yet, but I ha happened to survive. Barely. Oops, look like I lost. I guess that I'm safe in giving you this. We got a uh, cell's access chip. You can use that to get around into the net around here. There's a merchant selling armor. Why don't you visit him? Please help me by protecting nature. Okay. Uh, no, she didn't give me a battle chip. Okay. So, let's uh, move on here. We're trying to get to Dad in the Psy Lab. I think this is it. Just inside is the waterworks. Further in is the Psy Lab. And that's what we're looking for. Oh, let's see here. This is the Waterworks Information Desk. The machinery that cleans the water is on another floor. Now, by the way, you're not sitting at a desk. Why do government offices always keep you waiting so long? Well, let's chat while we're waiting. Let's not. Aw, oh, the wood armor that I bought on the net gear here is great. The power of nature reduces damage to half the normal. That's cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't work against fire attacks at all. Armor usually naturally... <laughs> armor uses natural defenses to reduce damage, so they all have a weak spot. Be sure to change armor at times. So that looks like it's following the classic Mega Man formula. Wood is burned by fire, fire will be put out by water, um, and so on. Let's see. I'm looking for the Psy Lab. The highest level research goes on in this building. I'll tell you about my research into program warfare. Sometimes when you send chip data, the chips will morph. For example, three code-ordered cannon chips become a Zeta cannon. This can also happen with several chips with the same code. Huh. I did not know that, actually, and I've never seen that happen for me. Despite sending uh, three chips to the same code, I'm pretty sure I've done it at least once. Welcome to the Psy Lab. Here we are using the power of science to improve our life. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for my dad. You're Dr. Hikari's son. I think he's in his lab. Wanna go? Yeah. Then please use that elevator. The elevator program will take you there automatically. Alright, uh, before we do that, let's just look around a little bit. We can jack in here. Excellent. Let's give it a shot. Inside the vending machine. Five grand. Wow, nice. Okay, I think I've seen this enemy before. Or no, I've seen the red version of him. Let's add some chips and just see what this thing does. And like his red counterpart, if he will not stay aligned up with you, uh, it looks like he's using water instead of fire. a couple quake chips here. There we go. So 
So even though they won't stay aligned with you, uh, what you can do is you can throw a chip like that, a quake chip, into one square, and then move up straight across from him, and he'll move uh, onto the square that you threw the chip at. That makes sense. And we've got a fire and a water one here this time. And since this one's up front, we're going to take care of him with the sword right away. Oh, oh. Even the wide sword missed there. Oh, we got a lot going on now. Um, let's see what else we're going to get. These guys are pretty much best taken out with the buster. Just because, like I said, it's hard to align yourself, but let's try that again, see if we can do what I... So what I do is throw it here, move into the spot. Oh, I bet he did his attack right at the same time, so he didn't move. Weak. Uh, I'm just going to finish him with the buster. I thought maybe being invisible he wouldn't move. That invisibility really doesn't last long at all. We don't need any chips for him. As tedious as it is, the buster will get it done. I'm a bit overworked lately. I'm making stupid mistakes, like giving out the wrong drink. Please, give me a vacation. Them new fuzzy logic programs, always complaining. Why, in my day, etc, etc, and we loved it. Anything else in here? theory behind that works, uh, but of course there's always a chance that to move to the space that you didn't throw the uh, quake to, so. Like much of this game, it's a roll of the dice. Not to say there's no skill involved here, obviously, but... A little bit of luck goes quite a ways in this game sometimes. Uh, like beating Woodman there. Um, I'd love to tell you that that was all skill, and I'm a pro at this game, and I beat Woodman far before I should have. But in fact, that was mostly luck, I think. Um, what am I doing here? He does stay stationary for a moment after he does his attack. But by the time the water disappears from the squares, from the spaces, he disappears, so... Um, a lot of timing in this game, too. That's huge. Well, I did get 5k from going in there, so that was worth it. I'm watching all these TVs, looking for new ideas. Can't jack into the TVs. Didn't think so, but I'd try. Okay, so we're using the elevator to go talk to Dad. Okay, I think that means we're on the next floor. Yep. Okay. Hey, this PC is still running. Would it be okay to take a peek and try to find my program? Sure. Great, go ahead and jack in. I'll check it out. Well, first, before we do that, is not is Dad here? Nothing. Let's see what we can find in here. I am just a caretaker program, not your dad's Navi. Mega Man's power-up program, it's not here. 
It must be in your father's pet plan. He said he doesn't have my power-up program. Oh well, let's just leave him a message. Okay, give this to him. I have the message for your father. What else is in here? Dad's access point. This looks like one of those classic teleporters from the Mega Man series. When you have to do the boss rush, doesn't it? Training. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Okay, according to my power and my level, it generated two cannons and a met. That's weak. Come on. I was expecting more. Do I get anything for uh, completing a training simulation here? I'll find out. Let's see. I got a bad habit of just standing in front of them and spamming the buster because it does a lot of damage, but you also take damage. And it looks like just a normal battle got a med chip. Let's try one more time. So apparently, I'm still pretty weak. Well, it said based on your Navi's abilities and powers. And I mean, he's got a lot of HP, I think, for this uh, point in the game. But the Buster could probably be more powerful. What I need to do is I need to, uh, I need to start upgrading the charge and the rapid fire in it, I think. Alright, nonetheless, um, doesn't look like there's much more in here, and that's it. What about this computer here? I don't know if I can get over to it. Um, what is this big computer here? Let's see if this uh, chick knows where my dad is. I heard you were coming. You're Hikari's son, right? He hasn't been here since morning, and he won't be back soon. Okay. Well, let's jack in here. Perhaps we could get some answers from this. Yeah, I have no idea where to go from here, by the way, so... I didn't look at the walkthrough at all, I just figured we'd go here and the story would progress after finding my dad, but... Figures, dad's not here. Hi, Cannon. That's something we're gonna put into play immediately. We are replacing... regular cannons. So, that was a good pickup. And, um, we've seen the hand guy before, but he's got a lot more HP this time around. Mouse is new, so I'm not taking chances with that mouse. I'll take them out right now. And as far as I know, this is all the hand does is he plants these bombs, which if you get up close, you can smoke them quickly. Sword would do really good about right now. Sometimes it's the simplest, easy programs that are the most monotonous. Dr. Hikari has given us emotions. We now laugh and get mad and worry like humans do. 
Is that not the defining condition of humanity?